Hello and welcome to another Near Running Cast. As always, my name is Jono and I'm joined once again by uh, David Swifty Etherington. How's it going, Dave? That's good. So uh, we're here to watch the third elimination round of the UK Nationals 2016. And on the left-hand side, we have uh, Johnny Lockhart of Scotland. I'm going to say Edinburgh. I'm not actually sure where. <laughs> uh, playing Sink. And on the right-hand side, we've got Dylan Green of, I'm going to say, the Northwest somewhere, like Manchester or something. Which might be Yorkshire. I don't know. Sorry, Dylan. Uh, playing Andromeda. Um, so this is in the loser bracket. So these guys have one more chance before one of them will get sent home. Um, so any thoughts about Sync versus Andromeda matchup? Anything we should look at very early? Ooh, early sweeps, uh, early nice. sweeps is always good. I mean, bursting up eight credits in one go is pretty good. Um, yeah, okay. a lot of money, so I'm expecting a mid seasons or something already. Yeah, so mid season threat is online. About this. Uh, as is a hard hitting news threat. Yeah. Oh, so that's moving to another sweeps. Yeah, unlucky you didn't get that as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, SMC, SMC, uh, which is an interesting splash, but um, when you got special order, but well, I mean, if you put down SMC, I'd expect some sort of uh, au revoir, au revoir deck. Uh, same uh, with these. Well, sports topic could just be meat protection, but. SMC, I put you down as looking for an au revoir or a snitch or something. Uh, yeah, down. and in fact, that's exactly what uh, what Dylan's on. He's on a kind of au revoir and Andromeda. So uh, we'll see how that develops. Um, the question is, if we're going to see, yes, yeah, we are going to see hard hitting news. When you've got that kind of uh, money advantage, it seems kind of automatic yeah. to uh, abuse it. Uh, so he's going to pay five to make it a trace nine, um, which means hopefully, that... Hopefully yeah. he's got the networking. Uh, so which means that Dylan did take the four tags, but he did have the networking and uh, the requisite four credits to clear them. So networking, some pretty good anti uh, hard tech news tech. I managed yeah. to uh, bait, I'm going to say bait, although I still wasn't very happy about it, uh, hard tech news out of an opponent um, at the last one I went to when I had only three credits, but I had two networking <laughs> hands, so I could <laughs> play one of them uh, and the three credits and then play it to get rid of it and still be kind of all right. Um, yeah, okay, so um, having said that, I don't think Johnny's going to feel particularly sad about that. He did... Um, slow down and drum it quite a lot on your two credits yeah it's I mean ideal. with Au Revoir it's a run based economy you need if, yeah. he, if he starts running when he doesn't have much money the same thing's going to be happening again I mean it, yeah um, what's yeah. happened uh, in the past when I've been trying to play it is having uh, a break your new score and then your account's closed and then you try and build okay. up your money again and you just take tags and it's it's, it's it's horrible when it happens all the time yeah yeah uh, so we had to poke at HQ and hit a data raven jacked out um, not too surprising and then uh, it's all daily cast so he is down to zero now so uh, do you play hot ink news now if he's got another one maybe yeah. but it's a small small deck you probably don't have the full set of three in mm. so it's unlike to have it but data raven one of the best uh, and okay. the one nice so in fact he takes credit he played Archive Memories for Hardic News and then plays Hardic News and there's no way out of this for Dylan um, so he's going to take the four tags he does get two credits from Cast so he can um, he can network in two of them and maybe just float the two tags for a turn um, the punishment here of course is uh, the tags will presumably um, be to turn on cards like EOI that kind of thing yeah. and Resistor will be an issue at some point as well so he does uh, networking uh, to the tags, but um, yeah, he's going to float two tags between the two turns. He had to draw on a credit either side of the networking. Uh, so, okay. um, but seemed quite poor here as well, actually, only on three credits. Uh, networking, of course, is turning off the uh, sync ability. Yeah. As the sync player hit there, would you have been tempted maybe to flip and trash the daily casts, for instance? Um, the 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 A side of Sync's not doing a lot of work. Well, maybe, but yeah, I, I guess I don't know. You could I, just, I don't really you play could Sync, just trash so, it with yeah. with your money. I mean, maybe having two. yeah, the, that's true. Having he, he the always bad. three tags, three credits to clear a tag will be relevant. You don't want to at yeah. a later point have to flip your ID over. That's true. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the net we assume the networking is going to stay in hand yeah. for the uh, the long haul. Uh, that's possible. It won't. Um, okay, so. Um, Something a zoo. Okay, he's, I guess maybe because just because he's enjoying he's looking for it, it. doesn't want to discard it. Yeah, yeah. Get him with the siphon. siphon. Siphoning through a raven would just be a horrible prospect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You have to unclip one and then spend the rest of your turn clearing tags. Yeah, doesn't seem great, does it? Um, unless he's got Natch or something like that. But with networking, you may not. Um, so, do you consider going after this remote? No, you haven't gone after money, right? No, you yeah. don't. You've got the SMC, but... just cause too many problems. 
Yeah, okay. So you're going to leave that. You're going to try and continue to build up and hope to get out of hand, uh, which is a tough hope against yellow. But, okay. Uh, he might consider... Ah, uh, Councilman, that's interesting. So you might consider a couple of pokes at um, R&D as well. But yeah, again, R&D's just been left mostly alone. But again, I guess Heartache News is protecting it. Yeah. Uh, and that's the problem now. So every run that Dylan makes, he has to be confident that he can recover if Heartache News gets played. Um... So reflection is an interesting one as well. Um, that'll give him a, so from memory, that is a um, and not exposed. He looks at it's a random card from HQ random, whenever he jacks Random up. look at it, and it gives him a link and a memory as well it's to help along with this giant rig that Andy is playing. Yeah, yeah. Well, playing. well, in theory, it's going to have oh, okay as he scores Beal out from behind uh, the ice. Um, presumably, once you've got the three or four down and a snitch. Presumably, you, that's obviously full memory right there. So yeah, when when I was playing this, you generally want maybe two or three pieces of the snitch combo. So having the two of wars or au revoir snitch and oh, well, au revoir turning wheel, things like that. You don't really want to start running when you've only got one or two bits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got Corroder. So that's kind of part of the rig is there. This is the Plascrete. Uh, that's probably fair. Yeah. I mean, of course, it is tag, but it's almost certainly not murder. I haven't he's, seen he's any. Got, he's got the sports top of it as well. Which, he does, that's true. Which is helpful. Um, and he can pop that and live and still have the link needed to keep his whole rig alive with the reflection. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So we're going to... Ah, oh, Celebrity Gift. That's an interesting splash. Okay, but that's, it's economy, right? And yeah. I guess if, if they if really want them to run, to, to run <laughs> so and take tags... Hmm, GFI, interesting, as well as Neo EOI. Yeah. Mm, and a cat, uh, QPM behind the Day Raven. Okay, that's not great. Hard hitting news. And the other one just sweeps, I think. So, yeah, not particularly tempting. Uh, you might go for it to try and hit the GFI and clear the tag, but I think the GFI is kind of the last one you want to steal. Yeah, you never want to take that. Yeah. I mean, I have seen a few people slotting a data dealer in criminals now. I had, I had a data it. dealer in my Geist on this very day and I sold multiple GFIs oh. to it. <laughs> it didn't feel great, but it felt quite good. <laughs> I, I quite like selling agendas. Yeah. It feels quite good. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I remember s selling at least two against a CTM opponent, and we both kind of looked at each other like, I don't think that's necessarily the bad thing to do. No. Um, he does date on your archives for money, and what's this? A oh GFI dear. in the bin. Oh, dear. This seems suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess I'll take that. Yeah. Um, now would be a good time to uh, drop the aforementioned data dealer. Play the frame job, maybe, that you slotted. Yeah, see, the combo deck. So he's probably got an artist combo just to to find the oh, things he needs. Yeah, as well. maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not a side. Data dealer is the infraction solution solution, if you want to call it that, for uh, the GFI problem. But mm. yeah, okay, all right. So um, so it's currently tied. It's two to two, and yet I feel like I feel sink, sink is, in, is at an advantage. In I feel a stronger sink position. is in a better position. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I would agree with that assessment. Uh, I don't feel... So, uh, Dylan's taking a little bit of time to set up here, and he, it is it is a rig-building deck. Um, so, he might have, I, think, I think he's had not a great draw, actually. Um, I wonder if he almost certainly should have had... Um, I guess he should have had an Au Revoir by now. Or I guess he's got the SMC for the Au Revoir, the Snitch, whichever he doesn't get first. Well, so I feel he should have something by Even now, if it is a, a, main, he's a big rig that he's building... I generally try and pop an SMC early just because it limits, it takes more cards of the decks. So you can find what you're looking for quicker. Yeah. But I mean, maybe he's looking for a specific thing before he pops it. Maybe he wants a snitch before he gets an Au Revoir with it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I assume he's going to install a snitch, say, and then use it to get an Au Revoir. Um, so he's going to inside gamble and then inside drop the remote. Um, so he can networking um, to save himself. Uh, He's going to try and access this card that we've got in the last turn. So we're going to get two no reses and an access of sad, so, sad. Okay. so he That's can sad. trash it. But uh, he knows about the high tissue news in hand. He's got four for networking. So yeah, he does trash it. I think that's probably the right move, but he can't sustainably get into that remote. No. Hmm. That was an expensive one. Yeah, uh, but trashing Santan -San is good. Okay, so we've got an install of an ice, uh, and another install of that remote, and an advance. Okay, all right. So some kind of inside job protection, possibly. Uh, maybe this inside ice is... Oh, what do you do that with? Well, a data rate. Uh, cheap data ice rate. on the outside, yeah. data everything inside the cat's And that's remote. the cat, okay, yeah. That, that's I agree, yeah, I agree with all of that assessment. All right, uh, so Quirifef and Earthrise, so he's going to continue to draw. 
Um, Bitching another siphon. That might be the third one I think we've seen in the bin. So, um, you can leave a cat, right? If it's behind a raven, just, just leave yeah. it there. <laughs> Defends the remote. <laughs> yeah, just leave it there then. It's nice and safe there. So, don't want to get cheeky and put something else in there, do you? Oh, he does. It's installed and uh, advance one more hmm it's dangling in draw. front of him <laughs> yeah um, so, well maybe it's not a cat then is it possibly it's a GFI now on a Sansan -San? no wait that doesn't make sense no. could be a GFI on a um price no that doesn't exist on some upgrade hmm yeah interesting Maybe it's the upgrade that prevents bypass. I think that's a competitive card. I can even I even remember the name of it. I can't remember the name <laughs> no, of it either. I don't know, I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah, it's not that. It's, I, I think it's going to be a cat. I don't think he's going uh, to be going for a, yeah, a, I think a more uh, expensive BL, a, a three-point BL. Uh, three-point BL would be a bad move, yeah. Helping with this. Um, it could be a... Uh, yeah, Sansan won't help with a BL, an over-advanced BL. Uh, yeah, cat, uh, QPM on a Sansan seems good. Um, but if it is safe in there he could just be advancing it slowly so that when he does score it he's got options with his clicks so yeah. sometimes I, when be, I was playing uh, Plana, well. I like to install the 4-2 and double advance it just so you've got more options to do stuff next turn so we are going to get a Reservoir Sansan he offered uh, Dylan the Councilman window but he didn't take it so it is Res and it does no. score a QPM and we've got an install on it on click one and oh, yeah, score so and he's got more score options and to do it next turn with the extra uh, clicks okay so he scored the breaking news off the Sun Sam with a click spare played exchange of information yeah. so that uh, breaking news suddenly turned into a GFI and I'm going to weep silently for Dylan here because <laughs> that this is just maximum uh, as, NBM awfulness as a recent convert to breaking news off a of Sun Sam exchange thanks Jerry it is a sweet combo to be uh, playing I am thoroughly enjoying it at the moment I'm shaking my head <laughs> that is not how everyone should be played when a, when a player, when a runner takes his agendas there, his, he earned them. Um, uh, I believe Turntable started this problem first. So Turntable corp is, uh, corp yeah. is just replying in kind. So, uh, leaving the Sansan res, that was it. Uh, yeah. Johnny just was able to just, coffee. next time he drew an agenda, and it was a QPM in fact, he yeah. was able to score off the Sansan. And, and um, Dylan never got set up. It was, uh, no, there's a lot that need, there's a lot of moving parts in the Snip Drive for Andy deck, and he must have just been unlucky with so, some of the draws. So, uh, now, Johnny played very well, don't get me wrong, but Sink seemed to get a very good draw in that game, and uh, Andromeda seemed to get a very bad draw in that the, game. The so. early sweeps, so bursting up for uh, 12 credits with the sweeps yeah, and, and the hedge. And with the hard hitting news and in hand. news of good yeah. opening. Yeah, that Didn't was it. need to protect R&D, that was left open for a while. So he ran, uh, yeah, you're right, Andromeda ran on click one, thinking, you know, he's uh, he played a sweeps week in a hedge fund, he hasn't got that many cards left in his hand, he probably hasn't drawn yeah. the hard hitting news, but he had. I mean, it didn't cost him a lot, but having it early, and the Archive Memories was a really interesting splash. Yeah. Presumably it's in there specifically for hard hitting news. Well, you could also be using it for, uh, it's slow, but maybe the Celebrity Gift just to make sure you've got a lot of money. Yeah, maybe, or maybe. Or getting yeah. back another exchange, because that's uh, always exchange, a nice combo yeah. with exchange of information. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, so yeah, playing exchange again, or... Uh, maybe a closed accounts he threw away earlier or a uh, or seeing eye, you know, whatever. DLR Max. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Wow, okay, all right. So commiserations to uh, Dylan, who went home. But um, but made it to round four of the, uh, round three of the elimination. Yeah, I hear there were a lot of good players at yeah, this, there was uh, this players, event. Yeah. So well done getting that far. Um, yeah, and um, speaking of good players, <laughs> uh, in the next game, uh, the round four game, we're going to see uh, oh, David Sayer. I <laughs> don't know these good players that <laughs> okay. you're speaking of. Um, uh, he's one dimensional players <laughs> uh, he was playing Haley oh, really? um, against uh, yeah that's me surprise you yeah. uh, against uh, Tagore Nakornchai who's playing CTM was it some sort of stealth Haley deck that he was he's on uh, I believe it was the one Haley deck that he ever plays oh, okay yeah. <laughs> um, which of course is uh, Diaper the um, the much maligned nickname for yeah. um, the uh, well I don't know how you describe it now because it's gone through so many iterations I guess it's the uh, DDoS False Echo combo Kate, uh, now in Haley, which uh, allows you to have with hyperdrivers a very large uh, turn with keyholes and mediums. No longer mediums, it turns no out. No longer mediums. Uh, in Dave's build, it has a spicy apocalypse instead. Well, he's had to adapt a lot because Dave travels to a lot of events yep. and people have become wise to it. And I believe as he became, yep. we've become wise to tricks and now has to use even dirtier methods to start taking our agendas. Yeah, it's really quite interesting. He came up with a really strong deck doing a really strange thing and played it a lot. And um, a lot of people uh, played it against it 
and really hated it, but yeah. learnt learnt its tricks. So it has to constantly undergo changes to he, keep its opponents on its toes. I believe in this uh, at Nationals, he had some New Anglia City Halls to deal with the CCM. So uh, which is changes, which yeah. is a good meta yeah. call, yeah, because there was a lot of tagging. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there was a lot of tagging. He's very secretive about his deck before every event. Yeah, that's right. Um, so that video, in fact, will uh, not feature uh, pre-recorded. Uh, commentary with the video it will actually feature the live commentary used from the stream so um, it will still be my voice but um, it will be from as it was being played so you know full of errors because we can work out what's going on <laughs> but hopefully that will still be entertaining um, uh, yeah and I was joined by uh, I was joined by Joey and I think Laurie for that game so um, yeah I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to that game I always look forward to videos of Dave yeah I, well I guess I do too <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so um I'd like to remind our viewers that they can find all of our videos on the website nearrunningrid.co.uk and they can find us on Twitter and on Facebook and on Patreon if they like to support the channel and check out the Dead Channel podcast as well. Thank you, Dave, very much for helping me commentate. Thank you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.